Hey loves, it's Elle and welcome back to my channel and today we're talking about all new things, brand new launches and what I actually think about them. <laughs> if I would repurchase them, if I would tell you to purchase them, um, I have quite a few so before we get started hit that subscribe button, share this video with somebody you think might like it and let's do it. All right, so I went on a little bit of a shopping spree at Sephora. I have a few new things that came to me in PR. Um, I have a supplement that I've been reviewing. Um, so it, it, we can, we're gonna get in here and we're gonna tell the truth like it is always. Hey girl, hey, <laughs> I'm in a weird mood again. All right, so let's talk about Charlotte Tilbury. Um, Charlotte Tilbury came out with her brand new um, airbrush bronzers. I am in color two. If you saw my video the other day where I did the blush and bronzer tutorial, this is what I used. Um, I will say that the packaging is absolutely gorgeous, um, as always. Um, very, very high-end, beautiful. I, I, by the way, I purchased all these myself. Um, the pan is gorgeous and huge. This reminds me a lot of the um, Tom Ford big old bronzers that he has or used to sell. Um, this reminds me a lot of that. Now, I have it on today. Um, I like it. I think it is beautiful, but for me, I just, it's a lot of money for, but this will last you, by the way, like forever. This probably will last you a year. Um, I think it's a beautiful product. Um, I just think that there are some other ones out there that are equally as good. I mean, honestly, there, Elf makes a beautiful bronzer. I mean, there's so many, um, but what I like about this is that it is matte. Um, so it's perfect for all skin types, um, all age ranges, of course, um, but it is matte. It's very soft and velvety. Um, it blends like a dream. Absolutely very easy to use. Um, I just, I don't know if it's like something that you absolutely have to have from her. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think if you are Charlotte Tilbury stan or fan, um, absolutely you will be enjoying your purchase. Again, it will last you forever. Um, I don't know if I you know, would buy this again. Um, but I think it's a good product. Um, I don't know. I mean, I just, I think it's beautiful. I don't really know what I feel about it. I just, am like, it's just like another bronzer, but it is very high functioning and delivers great, you know, payoff and things of that nature. So yes, I love it. Do I think it's essential? I'm not quite sure yet. Yeah. But I've been using it every day since I got it, um, from Sephora. All right. Let, ready? <laughs> the new Hourglass Mascara, okay? This is the, it's a, the packaging is absolutely stunning, okay? It has this gorgeous thing kind of going on down here. It feels very heavy and luxurious. Um, this is the Unlocked Instant Extension Mascara. Um, in my video I did, well I've been wearing it in every video since I got it, but um, I, two videos ago, the one for the um, blush and bronzer, this is the mascara I had on. Um, a lot of people have been asking me what mascara I had on, so this is it. But I've kind of been doing a battle with the brand new Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara, and this is a non-toxic, they're both cruelty free, of course, but this is more of a clean mascara. I just noticed I don't have <laughs> any mascara on the bottom lash. So, I have on my left eye the hourglass and I have on my right eye the Ilia. Here are the brushes so you guys can see a comparison. Do you see how similar they are? Isn't that crazy? They both are lengthening kind of mascaras I feel. Um, they both wear very very well. I'll come up and I'll show you. Here are my lashes. This is hourglass. This is Ilya. All right. So 
Um, this is going to give you a lot of length. So the hourglass one is going to give you a lot of length, but I like that if you kind of wiggle it at the base with most mascaras, but this one really deposits a lot of color there um, and a lot of depth. Now I love their original caution mascara because it's just full of volume and I love it. It's one I use often. Um, but this one is a lot more lengthening. It's a lot more petite. I feel like this lash looks a little bit more petite. I tried to kind of drill this in, not drill it, but <laughs> drill it. I tried to, you know, go back and forth at the base with this one and it didn't do as much as this. I think they're both beautiful uh, mascaras. Do I think anybody needs to be spending this kind of money on mascara? Probably not. Um, but I will say that I am enjoying them both. Again, this is a little bit cleaner formula. Um, they also stay on all day long. I've been in 90 degree heat and they have not run. Both of them have not run. Um, I haven't got any transfer on the bottom lashes um, from it kind of, you know, moving and grooving. So I really do enjoy that because the Caution Mascara from Hourglass, their other one, does kind of have a tendency to run every so often on it. Um, so these I love. Um, again, does anybody need to be spending a million dollars on mascara? No. No, but are they good? Yes. Um, and I love to support, you know, these brands that are doing great things uh, for, you know, non-toxic green animals, obviously. So um, if you are fans of these brands, these are definitely good ones for you to get and they will perform. And um, I'm happy I have them. I need a new mascara anyway. Okay. I've been getting so many questions about this because you all know how big of a fan I am about Hourglass's powders. So this is their new powder. This is their um, Ambient Lighting Infinity powder, okay? This is, what, this is what she looks like. You know I love most things that Hourglass makes, especially their powders. This is a blend of their Ambient Lighting powder. This is also a blend of their highlighters. Um, so it has a, several different finishes throughout this product okay so it does give a lot more glow to the face than their original ambient lighting powders i'm going to show you because i don't have this on yet big fluffy brush and it's going to be your finishing step okay i have been wearing this because again you know i like to try stuff out before i give you any recommendations because that's the right thing to do so it does give the skin a really beautiful glow, okay? It is, in my opinion, it pairs much better with a matte foundation. So today I have on the Anastasia foundation, which I love, which is a little bit more matte-ish. It's not really matte, but you know what I mean. Um, I think it pairs better with a more of a matte powder, I mean a matte foundation. Um, I wore it yesterday and with a really glowy foundation, and I... Even though it looked pretty, it just did not wear the really great the rest of the day. I got shinier and shinier and shinier and shinier, and then to the point I just looked like a grease ball, which you guys know I'm dry to normal, and so that's hard for me to do. I, 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 I like it. I'm, I'm just not, I'm not a huge fan on how glowy it is. Um, it's just, it's maybe if you also if you are super 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 dehydrated and the current ambient lighting powders don't give you enough glow then this might be one to reach for i just don't like that it has highlighter in it i think they've made it really nice i think that you know i think it makes the skin look great i think it also looks great on camera um in person it does look pretty but it, it does again like it wears really really kind of oily throughout the day so would i go out and get this um no but i have it so i bought it obviously myself um and i don't know if i'd repurchase this i have repurchased the ambient lighting powder so many times that um this one is just a little too glowy for me i, I just um i can't believe i would say that but you might love it if you love a good matte foundation and just want a finishing powder to give a little bit of glow to the skin. So that's my take on this. Um, I'm going to quickly mention this just because it is new. I bought it from Sephora, but I can't do a what's new video without talking about this. This, I know you've seen me use it in 12 million videos. This is the cream bronzer from Fenty. Um, I have it in Butter Biscuit and it's actually back in stock now as far as I last checked. 
Um, this is one of the most beautiful cream bronzers I have ever purchased in my whole entire life. Um, it reminds me a lot of the, it reminds me a lot of the Tom Ford Shade and Light, where they have the highlighter and then they have the bronze, the cream bronzer in there. The formula is very, very similar. Um, if you guys like a good bronzer, a cream bronzer, then this is one that you are sleeping on and it is well worth every penny and it would last you forever. I just really think she did such a beautiful job on this bronzer. Let's talk about what I have on my lips since we're on the Fenty train. I have her new lip stick on. on. Uh, I have been wearing it pretty not much nonstop, um, but it is a beautiful nude color. Now for my skin tone, it is a touch, it is a touch light, okay? It has a tendency to wash me out a little bit but the formula is really beautiful. It has a really nice sheen to it. Um, I wouldn't say it's super long wearing, but it is long wearing enough, maybe a couple of hours. So I pair this with a little bit of a deeper lip liner, so it gives it a little bit more depth so I can wear it for my skin tone. Um, you know me, I'm not a big person that spends a ton of money on um, lipsticks, but I love this. Her gloss balm for, uh, that's in Hussy is fantastic. Um, she has some beautiful shades, really beautiful shades in this range. Um, um, I love the packaging, so I absolutely love this. Um, I'm just trying to decide if I, what color I want to get next. Um, so the formula is beautiful. Again, it does have a little bit of light reflecting properties to it, so it's not matte, so just FYI. Um, it does have some kind of, I wouldn't say glitter, but a sheen to it for sure. Feels very comfortable on the lips. Um, I, I like it a lot, so I'm glad I have that. I've been wearing it. All right. The new concealers from Tarte. I hear nobody talking about these. Um, I got two colors. Uh, this is the Tarte C Hydro Concealer. Um, I got it in B B20 Light Beige and N. Uh, sorry, 20N Light Neutral. Light Neutral is is it was my color. That I have it on today. Um, the other one is just too pink for me. It's a little too dark. Um, I might actually go a step lighter than this if I wanted a little bit more brightening. But this is what I have on today. Um, it goes on like a dream, to be honest with you. Um, it is very light, though. So if you're looking to cover up dark circles or things like that, this is probably not the one for you. I would go with the Milani 2-in-1 concealer. Um, but this is a good concealer. Um, I, it took me a while to actually like it because it is so light, but it is very hydrating under the eyes. It is very lightweight. It sets really well with whatever powder. So if you are a Tarte fan, this is something new to pick up. Or if you still are struggling with a concealer, this might be one um, to look up because it is so light, airy. Um, it is definitely like a light medium coverage, I would say. Um, it's very hydrating. And um, it, it just I think it's a really well-made concealer. Is it my favorite one in the whole entire world? No, but um, I'm glad I have it and I will use it. Um, on those days that I kind of just want, you know, some just light concealing. It goes great with a skin tint or a tinted moisturizer. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Now, um, this was sent to me in PR. This is the new Retro Paradise palette from e.l.f. Um, you guys know that I have been working with them on their channel, so this is not sponsored, but I did get this in PR because I did a video. Go head over to e.l.f. Cosmetics' YouTube channel. You can see it, but I did a video using this palette. Um, it is such a good palette. You know, e.l.f. makes some really great things. That Jay Kissa palette actually is really fantastic too. Um, but I love this. I think they have such fun colors. Um, and I love that they have a navy in there, black. Um, they're only missing like a base color for me. But today I have on this palette all over my eyes. Um, I started with, I started with um, Sandy Bum all over the lid. I went in Coca, 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 I don't even know how to say that one, but this guy right here um, in on the lash line and up here, brought that down underneath. And then this one has been my like jam right now. This is the most beautiful color. That's that kind of greeny, pinky, kind of flashy color. It is so beautiful. The products are just really nice. Um, I put that on my finger. So if you're looking for a really affordable, great pigmented palette, this is one to pick up for sure. Um, it is a, a really beautiful palette. I've been using it quite a bit, actually. All right, my last two are skincare. This was also sent to me in PR. This is the brand new launch from Tatcha. This is the Rice Wash. Okay, so this goes with their like dewy um, skin 
line um, so for really like beautiful glowy dewy skin and this is just a face wash now this is a soft cream cleanser it's for normal to dry skin it says it's ph neutral cream cleanser of rice and hyaluronic acid that gently purifies while moisturizing i agree so it has a small trace of rice in here I, it's not even enough to really exfoliate. It's just a very gentle exfoliation. Um, a little bit goes a long way, you guys. So don't just like, you know, on your hand. Um, I did that the first time. And I just had so much product. Okay, so I've been using this for the past several days, several mornings, and then I'm as my second cleanse. You know, I love me some Tatcha. Um, do I think this is a great cleanser? Yes. Um, I'm really happy to see them come out with actually another cleanser, um, but to go along with their, you know, um, rice powders and stuff like that. And, but, and it definitely would not be good for oily skin. It's just too hydrating, but, um, I don't think we need to spend this much money on a cleanser. I just don't. But if you're a Tatcha fan, this is definitely one to add to your arsenal. Um, this probably would last you four to five months because you need so little when you use it. Um, it is a really interesting cleanser. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, it has that natural, beautiful Tatcha scent, which is not an artificial fragrance. It's a natural occurring fragrance, just so you guys know. Um, but again, we don't need to spend this type of money on this product, but I do love it. And I think it is a beautiful product. So if Tatcha is your jam, it really works for you, then you should add this to your arsenal. And I am so glad that they sent this to me. I love it. And I am a Tatcha fan. So I probably will be repurchasing this myself. I mean, just, let's just be real. Okay. But you don't have to be extra like me, but I, I will be purchasing this probably. It's my new favorite cleanser. I love it. Reminds me, um, I know I have so many cleansers, but this is my new favorite. Okay. Last one. Now, if you guys heard of this, this is the new Osmosis Recovery Omega and Fat Pad Renewal Elixir. It says limited edition, which is interesting. So this is basically a full dose of omega fatty acids. Um, and it's just a beautiful blend of such skin loving, skin rich, um, internal body providing healthy fats in here. Um, there has been a study that he just did, Dr. Ben Johnson. I think they're promoting the results soon where you take this for several months. You take two teaspoons, I believe, um, once a day. Yep. Two teaspoons once a day. Um, and actually it has the ability to redeposit fat pads in your face. So if you have really sunken in here, sunken in here, sunken in the eyes, this actually has been clinically proven to, um, to get, to allow that fat to come back up into the skin. It's crazy. You guys now, I will say that I've seen, but you know, it, it's a great product. I actually was so excited. I bought two bottles. Um, I have not been using it consistently because I will tell you the taste is disgusting. It's basically drinking oil. Oh my God, you guys. I, the first time I did it, I took the two teaspoons, like, didn't, sorry, TMI, but totally came out of my mouth immediately my gag reflex work. And it was like, I'm like, Oh my God, I can't, I can't have this anymore. Like this is disgusting. Okay. So what I've been doing is I've been putting it in a smoothie. Okay. Now, not every morning do I have a smoothie. So that's my, that's my only issue here is I wish, and that's probably a reason why it wasn't in the pill form, probably something that it, you know, gets into the body quicker that way and da 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 with it without being a pill. But I really wish that he made it into a pill. It's just, it's, I used to have my daughter drink, um, straight, uh, omega, like six, like oil, like cod oil. Um, because when I, at her first treatment before she could swallow, swallow pills and that whole thing. Now she just swallows it. But I was so proud of her. She would just down it. Like she got used to it. So you probably could get used to it. Um, but I can't get past it. I just cannot get past it. So it is a very cool product. If you're an osmosis, um, lover and want more of their supplements, this is definitely one to get. Um, if you want some more, um, the, to bring some of the more fat back into the body or into the face, um, after you use this for a couple of months, that will be a benefit and a side effect of this. If you want those good, rich omega fatty acids, um, that this is fantastic. Um, it has, it's a proprietary blend of sea buckthorn fruit, um, omega three, omega six, omega seven, omega nine. Um, and it's gorgeous. So, but put it in your smoothie. Don't try to drink this straight. <laughs> 
put it in a smoothie. All right? All right, so that is all I have for you today on what's new. Well, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sticking around this video. Um, if you like these types of videos, please give me a little thumbs up. Share this video. It really means a lot to me. And I'll see you on the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, loves.